a record consisting of 11 fights, 11 victories, including eight knockouts. Guillermo El Chaco Brigande Victories, including 20 knockouts, with only one defeat from the Filipino Flash, yeah. Nonito Donare. Yeah. el mejor, touch him up. Hard to imagine either one of these two guys losing. Are you nervous for one or the other, Roy, or just nervous about what both can do? Just nervous about what both can do. Both have promised that they want to be aggressive, and already there's an exchange. And so there was rocked back by a left hand off of the stance of Rigandown. There's another left hand over the top by Rigandown. So we still have a pretty even fight right now. So they've said hello, and now the conversation continues. Donaire with a body shot with the right hand. There's a point to prove here. Oh, good shot by Rigandau. Absolutely. Rigandau landing again with the left hand. And there's another straight left hand on the chin of Donaire. Would be the case. Hard right hand by Rigandau. That was a good right hook by Rigandau. It has seen his initial offensive instincts somewhat blunted by the counter punching of Rigandau in round one. A brilliant boxing exhibition from both. See Rigandau keep the head low in this area. After the combination lands a beautiful overhand left because he kept the head low and he stayed close to it. There, CompuBox numbers for power punches in round one. Donaire, 5 of 18. Rigandau, 8 of 13. At least two previous Rigandau trainers, Ronnie Shields and Freddie Roach. Donaire definitely has to do something about Rigandau's right hook. Donaire likes to capitalize on mistakes, and Rigandau makes fewer than most. Kobe comes along. Well, that same thing happens at every Olympic game. And to win two gold medals means you defeated that twice. Two gold medals in the Olympics, two world champions. Well, he's trying to make Donaire make mistakes now. Make Donaire come in. He just landed a great body shot on Donaire's body. But Donaire wasn't even close with the counter right. Hard left hand over the top by Rigandau. So far, Rigandau is outboxing Donaire. And yep. finding the target. Yeah, because Donaire is probably looking for the knockout. Rigandau still having success going in that direction. 400 fights, Max. He can have success going in the direction that he wants to go. Moving in that direction. There's Gennady Golovkin, seated at ringside. News conference in New York today. Regan down 9 out of 33. Not a particularly active round, though it was still intense. It's Regan down. Right hand on the hook, this time again by Regan down. And countering and pot shotting his riddle of those punches, he may go down. Well, if he's successful doing that, defensive fighters, the mark of a... He has to do those gems. He can't get uh, over anxious here and try to go for the gamble and get the big shot. He has to continue to take his time. Donaire is learning that this ain't Darchinian or Montiel or Nishioka. And they're all good fighters, all quality fighters, but... To a big shot. Regan Dow challenging Donaire to fight. Well, Donaire got lucky then because he slipped a shot. Great he... left uppercut inside by Regan Dow. Yeah, he was open for an uppercut. Thank God Regan Dow didn't throw it. And the right hand of the body by Donaire. And again, Regan Dow lands with the right hook inside. Regan as if to throw a jab and leads oh. with a hook instead. Hard right hand by Donaire on the face of Regan Dow. Best punch of the fight so far for Donaire. Another big left hand for Regan Dow. Wanted to answer back. Rigandau answered right back like champions do. <laughs> landed two and landed them both harder, I thought. Anthony at ringside, what a red hot streak he's been on. Fight. Nonito Donaire has fallen behind a little bit in CompuBox numbers to the so far more accurate Rigandau. Harold, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim, you know, I tell you something. I'm
I'm really surprised at this fight. I got a th that's basically the fight. Look at this. The guy throws four or five punches, and Donaire doesn't throw one. I, I mean, Nonito Donaire is not in the That's basically the fight. Look at this. The guy throws four or five punches, and Donaire doesn't throw one. I, I mean, Nonito Donaire is not in All that and everything his amateur record suggested is true. And that's where I think the case may be, Jim. I think he's all that, and everything that his amateur record has indicated is definitely true. And his hands are so fast that quite often, Donaire will move as if to throw a punch, and Rigandau pot shots him first. And it's so far. Donaire looking apparently to try to throw that right to the body again. Rigandau quite aware of it now. He gets in a warning to Rigandau. Oh, Big good left hand by Donaire. Oh, good shot by, oh my goodness. They're trading punches oh. now. A fight just broke out. These are these are nuclear bombs they're trading. <laughs> and left hook was exactly the explosion oh. that they were looking for. What a left hand shot by Wiggendown. These are not great action fighters, but they're both great punchers. Counted, his life. Donette countered a hook right here off of Wiggendown, but Wiggendown came right back afterwards with his own shot. Very impressive. That was the biggest and best clean, punch of the fight so far for Donaire. Rigandau has had a small festival of them. Harold Letterman still hasn't found her. Widen them every round, maybe until that fourth. Oh, Donaire, to make sure he lets Donaire fear his power. So that's another thing that keeps Donaire at bay a little bit. Let's go. And there's Benji Estevez telling Rigandau not to hold Donaire's head. Rigandau saying, I haven't seen this quite before. And Rigandau's not looking at Donaire the same way. Oh, no. Uh, Rigandau has seen this before. That guy the closest was the Matabula fight, and he knocked Matabula down and broke his jaw. Well, and he, he's beaten highly respected opponents in wipeouts. Big Tarchinian with a big left hook knockout. Fernando Montiel with the sense. And hopefully he's looking at the later rounds. Through 30 and landed 10. So we have deteriorated to that point where two counter punchers aren't throwing all that much. And Donaire's keeping his hands at home more because it hurts when he, when they leave home. Whether it's a clean shot or not. <laughs> purist and non-purist lines. It's, it's, if you're a boxing purist, this is beautiful to watch, but it's not for everyone. Yeah, and Donaire just took a shot at him right there. Trying to get his jab going, Roy, talking about Donaire. As he takes a left hand right on the button from Guillermo Rigandau. Is there simply no point against Rigandau's defensive skills in trying to work his jab? Not really, because throwing his jab, you see Rigandau using his jab instead. So if he put his hand on top of Rigandau's... I mean, the fainting even that's going on here, the subtle skill being displayed by both fighters, the reason their hands aren't moving more is because of what the other guy can do fainting offense. The hook first or his, or his jab first, like he did right there. A little left to the body by Donaire. Some people in the crowd beginning to boo. I asked Nonito Donaire about this two weeks ago, and he said, oh, yes, I know. I sold the tickets. I'm the reason the fight is on HBO. I have to make the fire. Tim Bradley working with the Colonel Bob Sheridan on the international. He rigged out down here load his head but he keeps his stuff right up in that area so when he comes back bam they lands a straight left hand right down the pipe and now harold letterman prepares to tell us where he has it as we get to the seventh of the schedule 12. harold how do you have it so far no jim i ain't watching a fight i mean guillermo rigged out to start going to work six to nothing 60 to 54 guillermo rigged out he's landed all his shots though he's got to get off he's got to do something he's got to move his hands Guillermo Rigandau just landed most of the shots. Six to nothing. And now it appears that uh, when he does, that seems to be working a little, but uh, but it's still a still pretty difficult fight. How has Rigandau been able to put your guy into such... He's dreaming. There's no way it's three and three. <laughs> Roy Jones, I don't think for a second that Nonito Donaire ever fully understood what he was up against here tonight. Adi, do something different, but just doing what you're doing, only doing it harder, may not be the formula here. Look, Donaire. They bought into the notion that they would watch the great Nonito Donaire score another dramatic conquest. That's not what's happening. Regan Dow was 9 of 30. They're not exactly burning down the house offensively, but as I say, there's intensity every time they exchange. 
end. I don't find this very difficult to score. And it's not even about that, Max. It's about command. It's about ring generalship. It's about who's the boss in there doing what he wants about to do. who would you... Well, it's abundantly clear at this point, Regan Dow isn't going to do anything to change the... Come on, let's go. Come on, stay on him. Jab, jab, come on. He bends down to his right, right there. That's where the right arm was going to go. On this occasion, they may have misfired. Two more solid shots from Guillermo Regendau. We had a quieter round this round, actually. Regendau. Couldn't really get that much done. Regendau was 10 of 31. Another round in which Regendau landed more punches than Donaire and UC Harold Letterman scorecard. Really competitive. No, he wasn't, but he was a southpaw that you had to figure out how to hit. He was a test. That's why I think he even took the fight. Donaire got in a right hand, and Regendau answered with a left. Donaire just missed with a left hook. It was a glancing blow. Regendau, definitely, uh, Regendau, excuse me, is fighting. As I say that, he throws a punch. An uppercut. Maybe a place where, on occasion, we have been confounded by official judges' scores, which are entirely different than what we've seen. But you hear the boos from the crowd? It's Rigandau who's drawing those boos even as, out, as he's outboxing Donaire. And I asked Rigandau yesterday if he cared about that, and he said, absolutely not. What's up, what's up? Jabs through nine rounds, according to Cockerbill. Oh. And that's not a, a, a knockdown that's being ruled a slip. Donaire came out in this round with an absolutely different attitude. He ran towards Rigandau. Took he hit his feet there, or what? But, you know, he can't hit Rigandau. He stopped trying. Oh, hey, there's right. a brilliant left hook by Donaire. He finally got himself in the position to land Cinco. something and landed Cinco. it very big. Cinco. Now let's see if he can follow up. Ocho. He better be careful, Joe, because this is just going to make Rigandau fight back harder. Well, maybe we'll get to see something more exciting. That he, was good. He's going to have to take chances like that to try to win this fight, Royce. It's because he took that chance that he scored that knockdown. That's exactly right. I didn't say he didn't have to take chances. <laughs> I said he has to be it's careful just taking the chances. Yeah. There he is. Exactly. Another left hook. Second one misses. Regendahl holds out his hands as if to say, I'm fine. You're not bothering me at all. Donaire is looking to tee up one more left hook. Right hand by Donaire and a left hand by Rigandau. Donaire knows he has to risk getting knocked out to win this fight. And 100%. He, he's going to he, have to take shots to get him in. And he's willing to. Good hook. Right down. hand by Rigandau. Excellent hook. <laughs> There's that lead hook again that we talked about, Roy. That's what I think has been the biggest factor in the fight for us. He needs it tonight. Oh. Great left hand shot by Rigandau. Donaire's got a great chin. He's walking through that stuff. That to Rigandau's advantage. But for the first time in the fight, Donaire has won a round, and he won it 10-8. You see Guillermo Rigandau stay kind of high right here until they came together. And after he stayed high, he got caught with a beautiful overhand hook, like a left hand instead of a right hand. Once again, you see, he stayed high after they came together, right here. Donaire pushed him off with one hand, turned southpaw and throw, throw the beautiful overhand left and caught him right down the middle. Power shots in the 10th round. Donaire, 15 out of 29. By far his high numbers for the fight. If you were waiting for the great power punching Nonito Donaire to show up, he finally did it, at least for a brief stretch of time. Donaire has already proven he has a terrific chin. He's going to have to bank on that chin and gamble in these last two rounds to have any chance to win the fight. Yeah, we saw Chavez Jr. do this against Sergio Martinez. Just per round. There's another good combination by Donaire, who got in a right and a left hook. Yeah, but he took a left hand coming in. And it was Rick. Uh, just, it, to, uh, just to clarify, Donaire is wearing Everlast, and Regan Dow is wearing Grant. And to me, it's just like a bullet. The smaller it is, the quicker it travels. Good left hand by Regan Dow. Donaire can't find him to retaliate. Well, that's why you can't follow a south. Well, he got two points for the knockdown in the last round. If he, he made you a about couple of others close enough. I am told by producers in our truck that several writers at ringside are tweeting that they don't know what we're watching. They see the fight as much closer than do we. I still believe that we're seeing it well and that this has been a one-sided affair in...
Yeah, Rigondeau has hurt them there. Then he hit him in the eye. Now he snatches him down to the ground. But he definitely hurt them there. And Love pinned to his right eye. Oh, Means yeah. he can't see out of that right eye too good. Or he's seeing double. And he gets hit with another left hand over the top by Rigondeau. And a left hand to the body. His eye is badly black and blued and looks like it's swelling up. Yeah, it is. He can't see out of but one eye more than likely. Or he's seeing double, so he's closing one eye so he only sees one. Quick right hook by Rigandau. And Rigandau is going for the ball. Rigandau thinks he may have a chance for a knockout. He's got to be careful, too, because he's a little more square to Donaire's left hook. Rigandau's trying to close the show. Another strike. Big left hook swing for Donaire, and he motions to Rickendow, says, come at me, come on, let's fight, and it's over. Rickendow came and went right in this area with a counter left hand, landed a beautiful shot right in the eye of, Rick, of uh, Donaire, and it really hurt Donaire, blew up that eye, ruined his vision for the rest of the round. I told Roy Jones that they are retallying the scores over across on the far side. John Stewart scores it, 114, 113. Tom Schreck, 115, 112. Julie Letterman, 116 to 111. All to the winner by unanimous decision. Guillermo Rigondeo.